Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Arissa and I create content about fashion, beauty, tech and travel. Today we are talking about the Dior Bobby bag in large. I got this bag around a year ago in March 2022 when I was in Paris. At that time, Dior had just reopened the 30 Montaigne store, uh, which included their flagship boutique and the Gallery Dior, which is a museum dedicated to the house. Uh, I was deciding between the Dior Bobby medium and large. I managed to try on the medium in shiny calfskin, um, but it only had the large in grain leather at the time, so I tried that on as well. I went with the large Bobby in the end with uh, grain leather. I wish there was a shiny calfskin available, but on hindsight, the grainy leather was probably a better choice for me. The reason why I picked the large was also because I could comfortably fit an iPad mini, which I sometimes bring out for work or to read. The Dior Bobby was designed by Maria Grazia Curie and was first introduced in fall 2020. It is named after Christian Dior's beloved dog Bobby. Several house coats are reflected on this bag. Firstly, you see the CD logo on the front clasp and the address of the flagship boutique and atelier 30 Montaigne on the back. For the large bobby, the strap comes with an embroidered strap with the oblique monogram. The saddle style flat bag is really easy to wear on a daily basis and it comes in four sizes, micro, small, medium and large. Only the large comes with the embroidered strap, the rest come with a plain leather strap which matches the bag's colour. This is the measurements for the bag and it also features a flap design with a curved bottom. The bobby has a magnetic clasp which makes it easy for you to open or close the bag. It is one big compartment on the inside, uh, but there is also an interior patch pocket for you to put in flat items like a card. There is also a back pocket which was really useful when masks were still required. Uh, it's a handy spot for me to slip my mask or my phone in uh, so I can retrieve it easily. The main compartment has these two leather straps on the side which means the opening doesn't stretch to the full length of the bag, so that's something to consider when you're buying the bag. The straps are removable and even though the micro, small and medium bobby only comes with the leather strap, you can still have the option of purchasing the embroidered straps separately if you want to. The large bobby comes with a default blue Dior oblique strap which is adjustable and is very comfortable to wear because of how wide it is. The bag retails at 6,200 Singapore dollars and I got it at 3,300 euros in March 2022. The price has since risen to 3,500 as of February 2023. This bag is so gorgeous and easy to wear. I generally dress more casually and my work events usually happen during the day. So this bag is the perfect balance of classic and casual. At first, I was a little bummed that they didn't have the shiny box calfskin available, but after purchasing the grain calf leather version and doing some research, I'm actually glad I got the grain leather instead as the shiny one is quite prone to scratches. I like that the interior is suede leather as you're less likely to scratch it with your nails uh, when you're opening or closing the bag or when you're trying to retrieve items from your bag. And even if you do scratch it, there are suede erasers that you can use to buff or rub out the scuff marks easily. It's one giant compartment which means you're able to put large items inside. I even managed to fit in a Fujifilm X100V into this bag. The large bobby also fits an iPad mini comfortably. Because the bag itself is quite structured, I find that even if you fill it, it still retains the shape and doesn't droop that much. I do however recommend the use of a bag organizer just to protect the interior and to reinforce the shape of the bag, both when you're using it or when you're storing it. If you were to purchase the oblique strap on its own, it costs 890 euros, uh, which means it's actually a really good value when you buy the Dior Bobby bag in large. If you have other Dior bags like the saddle, you can totally swap the strap out and put it on the saddle and wear it as a crossbody bag. Because the bag is so big, having a wider strap makes sense because if you're going to put a lot of stuff inside, you don't want to strain your shoulders. I prefer wearing it as a crossbody because it's more casual that way. I like bags that are what I call the one hand up, um, which means I only need to use one hand to open and close the bag just in case I'm carrying my phone or a cup of coffee on the other hand and only have one hand free. This bag is definitely a one hand up bag, unlike vanity cases which will never work for me. This bag is pricey at 3,500 euros now, it's not the kind of bag you purchase on a whim. Unlike the Saddle and Lady Dior which are classic bags that will retain their value, the jury is still out for the Barbie as it only has a 3 year history. However, compared to the also recent Dior Book Tote which was introduced in spring 2018, I feel that the Dior Bobby in large is a better value because of its leather and constructions and also the fact that you'll be able to appreciate the beauty of Dior's embroidery on its strap as well. The Dior Bobby in large is a very roomy bag and I suggest trying it out at the stores to find out if the size of the bag complements um, the proportions of your body. 
Thankfully, I'm able to carry off larger bags, although I do prefer the look of the medium if I were to wear the bag in the front. The grain leather of the Dior Bobby is very soft and that can be actually a double-edged sword as well. For one, there is a tendency to warp and dent if you're not careful, which means the bag can stretch out if you overstuff it or misshapen when you store it improperly. But on the other hand, I feel that it's much lighter and less prone to scratches when compared to the shiny box calfskin. One issue that I have with the green leather is that the black doesn't look as black as the shiny calfskin. I don't know if it's because it's like a black and blue or white and gold dress situation here or the fact that the strap is dark blue which also makes me feel like the leather is more blue than black. Maybe it's an optical illusion, maybe it's not really that black. Um, if you have this bag, please tell me so I can stop obsessing over it. The big question now is would I buy this bag again? Um, I got this bag at my very first Paris trip since the pandemic and I didn't think I would travel to Paris again two more times that year and amass the number of bags I did in 2022. I got this bag as a gift from my husband as a very early birthday present and it was tied in with the memory of us visiting the store and the museum for the very first time. So this bobby is very precious to me. The Dior bobby is a very versatile bag and I love carrying it but I think I might go for the medium in grain leather in ultra black if it was available. I love the black on black and this bag would be perfect in my wardrobe. I got a lot of bigger and roomy bags last year and on hindsight a smaller bag would actually make my bag collection more well-rounded. I do still love it in large and I would not hesitate to recommend it, especially in grainy leather if you're afraid of scratches. While it may not enjoy the same status and history as the Saddle or Lady Dior, I do feel that the Dior Bobby has a very timeless design that will stand the test of time. I hope this video was useful for you and if you like content about fashion, beauty, tech and travel, please help me out by hitting the subscribe button and I will see you very soon. Bye!